Hello readers, and uh, welcome to the Ward Circuit, Circuit Talk. I'm your editor and owner, Clayton Davis, here for the second installment of Circuit Talk. And uh, this morning we had our Golden Globe nominations, and I must say, I find myself very uninspired, very unimpressed, and just very disappointed with the Hollywood Foreign Press and the choices they went with this morning. Um, I, I can't even say that they shook up the race. You know, if you guys have, uh, if you guys read John Foote's article that was up on the site a while ago, and, you know, just thinking about it, you know, the hot, I mean, they do set the tone for award season. I mean, King's Speech walked out with seven nominations, the most nominated film of the day. Um, but, I mean, it, it, was, it was just mind-boggling. When I was hearing all the nominations, I was very disappointed. Uh, Best Picture Drama, no surprises there. Black Swan, Inception, The Fighter. King speech and the social network. Hopefully, those five will just tr uh, transpire, transpire, you know, transcend into Oscar nominations. Uh, big talk of the morning: True Grit, no Best Picture nomination, no Jeff Bridges for Best Actor, no Matt Damon Best Supporting Actor, no Haley Steinfeld Supporting Actress. Um, it was told that Haley Steinfeld was push lead uh, by the Golden Globes, um, even though the studio was really trying to push her supporting. They put her as a lead. So, uh, as we saw the actress race with a surprise of Halle Berry uh, for Frankie and Alice, um, they, they just they ran out of room for her. Uh, Leslie Manville for another year. Nothing. No Critics' Choice mentioned this this week either. I mean, it, it, it is crazy how like another year is like drowning right now. I mean, with this original screenplay mention uh, with the Critics' Choice, but. I mean, I, I mean, it's going to be a favorite with BAFTA. I mean, we have to assume that. So, I mean, we'll just have to see what, where it goes. But the best picture, musical or comedy? This, I don't know, did they see any comedy movies this year? Because I, I am just thrown off completely. Kids are all right, even though not a comedy. I'm going to be first to say it, even though I put it there because I, I, I would put it there because it's an easier get for them. But it's not a comedy. But it's there, and it's good, and I'm happy about it. Even though there's no Mark Ruffalo for supporting actor, uh, another head scratcher this this, uh, this morning. But Alice in Wonderland, burlesque, red. I'm not too uh, not too disappointed about. And the tourist. I mean, this is just. I mean, what happened to Greenberg? What happened? To, give me the other guys. I take the other guys over over any of them right now. Because I, I just find that they, they just went in all these different directions. And, it, it, you know, we call them star effers all the time. They love to see the big stars there. Because it's a great award show. I mean, besides the Oscars, the Golden Globe is a great show to watch. You know, and of course, Critics' Choice is, you know, there too. But, um, you know, it's a fun show. Ricky Gervais is coming back as a host. And it's just, it was, it was weird just to, whatever. But uh, I'm not going to say all about uh, the Globes today. But I'm going to talk about some of uh, where I kind of see the race going a little bit now. And then where, uh, you know, where we where we are right now in this in, uh, today. Because today definitely just exploded into something different. But uh, I want to talk first about Blue Valentine. Now, both Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams were nominated today. Rightfully so, uh, I might add. Uh, Gosling is definitely looking very good for an Oscar nomination right now. I mean, I can't... I, he, he's fantastic in the film. Michelle Williams is a bit more uh, vulnerable uh, to be left off, you know. You know, she could be left off for Leslie Manville, uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Numi Rapace, I, I Love You, and I, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but I would be, actually. But, um, you know, anything, anything can happen right now. But, um, but Blue Valentine, I mean, this isn't even a screener I got. This is just a little pamphlet telling me all about them. And, like, just it just screams is about these two. They're not even going for the big picture. They're just going for these two because they're fantastic in the film. You know, and I, I, I definitely see this uh, shaking things up here. Um, I can't see Ryan Gosling overthrowing Colin Firth. But in, in the actress race, if Annette Benning were to be left off with a vote split with Julianne Moore, who are both nominated today, you know, then that race gets very interesting. Even though Natalie Portman would be a fantastic choice for a winner, um, it, it could 
we we would have it wide open. It, it would it would go somewhere cool. So 127 hours. We had Franco today. We're glad to see him nominated, and but the buzz for the film has been like deteriorating lately. I mean, I, I mean, when it first came in and blazed on, we heard about people fainting in the movie theater, and you know, oh my god, you know. But you know, I, I think even after people saw it, and it, I thought a little bit, and you know, you you kind of were left like, okay, that's it. Like it's good, it's not great. This isn't Slumdog Millionaire, but um, 127. I can't see it not. I, I can't see it not making the the best picture race. It probably will, especially in a field of ten. But, you know, I definitely feel the buzz dying. And even with Franco's nomination, we have Franco hosting, co-hosting the Oscars with Anne Hathaway. Which, by the way, I'm not a fan of this little duo. Um, but I find it very tacky that Franco would be hosting, you know, a, a, as a nominee. It, it, he, it's his first nomination. He should be in the audience enjoying it. Relishing in the fact that I'm a Best Actor nominee. Instead, he's going to be running backstage, working, learning dances, and singing songs, and so back and forth. I, It's just, it doesn't sit well with me. But that's 127 hours. Um, but we have The Fighter and True Grit. Now, The Fighter has been sitting more and more well with me every day. Ever since I've seen it, I mean, Christian Bale is fantastic in it. Melissa Leo, Amy Adams, great. Mark Wahlberg, good. Not fantastic, but, you know, it's a role I feel like that was made for him. So he's, like, essentially kind of playing himself, a little hard, hard guy. But, um, I mean, the entire cast was dominated today. That says something about what this film is going to do in the race. True Grit, on the other hand, um, I don't think the Globe's absence really meant too much. I got my screener just like maybe three days ago, two days ago. So maybe it got lost in the shuffle and maybe not enough uh, people saw it. And maybe that's why it was left off. And that's, you know, a fair assumption. And we'll probably have it as a SAG nominee on Thursday. Uh, the social network still blazing the circuit. I mean, it is just sweeping, it's steamrolling. A la Sideways, when Sideways came in, it, it, like, we, did, we were like, whoa, where are all these wins coming from? Or No Country for Old Men. The Social Network, I mean, if it doesn't win the Globe, it's probably going to win Oscar. Because when's the last time the Globes picked the, the right Best Picture winner? But if it doesn't win uh, the Globe, watch out. This is going to win the Oscar. And it still could. I mean, theoretically, I find it between The Social Network, The King's Speech, and maybe The Fighter. You know, those three are going to be, you know, battling that all season long. Um, and that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, the best song and score nominees, uninspired with them. I'm a little surprised Justin Timberlake wasn't nominated this morning. Because I thought if you were going to go stars, you know, Johnny Depp, Angelina Jolie, why not Justin Timberlake? You know, that, you know, that would have been all right. Uh, Helena Bonham Carter, I'd say watch out for her. To take the supporting actress, supporting actor, she's going to Christian Bale. Best actress in musical comedy, Annette Benning. Uh, actress drama, Natalie Portman, maybe Nicole Kidman. Uh, actor drama, Colin Firth. Actor in a musical comedy, oh God, we have two Johnny Depp's. We have Paul Giamatti. I mean. It, I, I, I really don't know. I mean, Paul Giamatti, I guess, sounds like the the classic pick. I'm actually going to look right now and see how I necessarily feel about it. But uh, I'd say Kevin Spacey gets it. Kevin Spacey. Uh, especially with the recent passing of Hicken Looper. That's said that right, yes. Um, I think that it'll be a good way to reward him and, and his career. So I see that going. And then director is probably going to be uh, Aronofsky or O. Russell. Or probably, oh my kidding, it's going to be Fincher. I, I, I hope for Aronofsky or, or O. Russell, but it's going to be uh, Fincher, no doubt. And he'll definitely, I think, win uh, the director award at the Oscars. Uh, if we have a split, that's how the split will happen. It's not that social network's taking all the way. But I'm a little bit rambling here. Uh, this has been the next edition of Circuit Talk. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed again. Um, please leave comments and questions that you would like to know about. Um, 
one question that came up uh, on the poll was Toy Story 3 and what I feel about it now. First of all, I'm, I'm, Toy Story 3 is top three best films of the year. I'm not going to give you what my number one is because you have to wait for the Davis Awards. But Toy Story 3 uh, is definitely one of my favorite films of the year. And I was believing it can go all the way for a good long while. Like, I was like, oh my god, it's going to do it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go the distance. But with Social Network and King's Speech and The Fighter, I just don't see them doing it. I, I don't see them giving it to it. I, I don't think I don't, I don't know if I'll be alive to see them award uh, an animated film Best Picture of the Year. We're due for one because I'm pretty sure there's been some in the past that were uh, that were worthy. But anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns for the next Circuit Talk, which will be at the end of this weekend, hopefully. Uh, if not, same time next week. Please leave it down at the bottom of the comment section. Uh, check out the predictions, the reviews, all these things coming to the award circuit. And uh, Editor Clayton Davis, I'm out.